Welcome to this complete Lyon France travel guide. Prepare to step into the vibrant city of Lyon, a gem nestled between the Rhone and Seine rivers. This city is a living testament to a rich history spanning over 2,000 years and it proudly stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Lyon is a city where the old gracefully intertwines with the new and every corner holds a story waiting to be discovered. Renowned for its architectural wonders, Lyon boasts an array of historical landmarks that speak volumes of its glorious past. But that's not all. This city is a paradise for food lovers. Known as the gastronomical capital of France, Lyon's culinary scene is a tantalizing journey of flavors, textures and aromas. So whether you're a history buff, architecture enthusiast or a foodie at heart, Lyon has something to offer everyone. Get ready to embark on a journey through the heart of France. Our first stop is the Old Town, also known as Vieux Lyon. Here the heart of Lyon beats in rhythm with the echoes of the past. The Old Town breathes life into the history with its Renaissance architecture, painting a vivid picture of bygone times. The picturesque narrow passageways, known as Traboul, weave a labyrinth through the city, leading to hidden courtyards that are little pockets of tranquility amidst the urban hum. Each corner of Vieux Lyon is a testament to the charm that only the passage of time can bestow. The allure of the old town is not merely in its brick and mortar, but also in its vibrant culture. The air is rich with the aroma of traditional Lyonnaise cuisine, wafting from popular restaurants and quaint cafes. As you stroll along the cobblestone streets, the old town invites you to lose yourself in its timeless allure. Vieux Lyon truly is a step back in time. Next, we ascend the Fourvière Hill to the majestic Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvière. This grand structure, completed in the late 19th century, is a testament to the city's deep-rooted Catholic ties. With its four towering octagonal towers, it's a beacon that can be seen from miles around. The basilica is lavishly adorned with intricate mosaics, an art form that was quite popular in the Byzantine era. Each mosaic, painstakingly crafted, tells a story from the Bible or pays homage to the saints of the Catholic Church. They are a sight to behold, a kaleidoscope of color and detail that leaves spectators in awe. Being perched atop Fourvière Hill, the basilica offers a panoramic view of Lyon. From here, you can see the city in all its glory, a sprawling urban landscape nestled amidst France's rolling hills and the winding Rhone River. The Basilica of Notre Dame de Fourvière is not just a religious site, it's a testament to Lyon's rich history. Now, let's dive into Lyon's artistic side at the Musée des Beaux-Arts. This grand museum, tucked away in a 17th century Benedictine convent, houses an extensive collection of art that spans the breadth of human history. As you wander through the halls, you'll find yourself face to face with ancient Egyptian artifacts, then turning a corner and coming upon medieval masterpieces. The museum also boasts a significant collection of modern and contemporary art, ensuring there's something to pique the interest of everyone. From the mind-bending surrealism of Salvador Dali to the vibrant pop art of Andy Warhol, there's no shortage of marvels to behold. And it's not just the indoor galleries that will captivate you. The museum's enclosed garden, a tranquil oasis in the heart of the city, is a work of art in itself. So if you're an art enthusiast, the Musée des Beaux-Arts is a must-visit. Hungry? Well, you're in luck. We're now heading to Les Halles de Lyon Paul Bocuse in the Presqu'île district. This isn't just any food market, my friends. It's a gastronomic wonderland. Named after the renowned chef Paul Bocuse, it's a vibrant hub bursting with the very best that Lyon's culinary scene has to offer. Imagine rows upon rows of gourmet food stalls, each one more tantalizing than the last. From the freshest seafood to the most mouth-watering pastries, from the richest cheeses to the choicest cuts of meat, it's a heady mix of sights, sounds, and yes, smells. And let's not forget the local delicacies, quenelle, saucisson, and of course the famous Lyonnaise potatoes. The market is more than a place to buy food, it's a symbol of Lyon's love affair with the gastronomic arts. A visit to Les Halles de Lyon Paul Bocuse is a feast for the senses. Don't forget to indulge your taste buds here in the food capital of France. Time to relax and enjoy nature at the Parc de la Tête d'Or. Picture an urban oasis of over a hundred hectares, a verdant expanse right in the heart of Lyon. This isn't just any park, it's a sanctuary that invites you to slow down and breathe. Imagine strolling through vast green spaces, 
where every tree whispers a tale of tranquility. The park's lush carpets of grass are perfect for leisurely picnics, while the shimmering lake invites you to embark on a serene boat ride. Now let's wander into the park's zoo, home to hundreds of species. From majestic giraffes to playful monkeys, it's a delightful menagerie that's sure to enchant both the young and the young at heart. And then there's the Rose Garden, a floral paradise boasting over 20,000 roses. Each bloom seems to radiate a unique charm, creating a kaleidoscope of colors and fragrances that's nothing short of magical. A visit to the Parc de la Tête d'Or is a perfect way to unwind. Next, we explore the mysterious Traboules of Lyon and the Croix Rousse Hill. Steeped in history, the Traboules of Lyon are a network of hidden passageways and courtyards threading their way through the city's heart. These secret pathways date back to the 4th century, providing a shortcut for the city's silk workers to transport their wares. The Trabul hold an even deeper significance. During the dark days of the Second World War, these labyrinthine passageways became a lifeline for the French resistance. Their intricate network allowed the resistance fighters to evade the prying eyes of the enemy, to gather, plan, and ultimately resist the forces of oppression. Now let's take a virtual stroll up the Quarus Hill. Known as the Hill That Works, this neighborhood was once the nucleus of Lyon's silk industry. The spirit of the Canuts, the city's historic silk workers, still echoes in the narrow streets and tall distinctive buildings. These structures, known as Canuts Flats, were designed with high ceilings to accommodate the large silk looms. Today, the Croix Rousse district is a vibrant and artistic neighborhood, teeming with independent shops, cafes and markets. The area embodies the perfect blend of history and modernity, making it a must-visit spot for any traveler. The summit of the hill also offers an unrivaled panorama of the city, a sight that is sure to take your breath away. As you wander through the Traboulas and scale the Croix Rousse Hill, you'll feel a connection to the past. You'll walk the same paths the silk workers tread and feel the echoes of the resistance fighters who once sought refuge here. These hidden corners of Lyon are more than just architectural marvels or historical landmarks. They are the city's beating heart, a testament to its resilience and its vibrant spirit. Exploring them is like peeling back the layers of time uncovering the stories and characters that have shaped Lyon's unique identity. The Traboules and the Croix Hill give you a glimpse of Lyon's fascinating past. Our journey ends at the Grand Place Belcourt. This square, my friends, isn't just any ordinary square. It holds the title as one of the largest open squares in all of Europe. A remarkable feat, wouldn't you say? Picture this, a vast open space sprawling in the heart of Lyon. It's a rendezvous point, a place where paths cross and stories intertwine. The square serves as the city's beating heart, with the pulse of life echoing across its expanse. Now, standing tall and proud in the middle of this square is an equestrian statue. But this isn't just any statue. This bronze embodiment is of King Louis XIV. Known as the Sun King, he reigned over France for a whopping 72 years, making his rule the longest of any monarch in European history. The statue, with King Louis astride his steed, serves as a constant reminder of the rich history that permeates every corner of Lyon. Let's not forget the square's geographical importance. Located between the Rhône and Seine rivers, Place Bellecour is a central point in Lyon. It's as if all roads in Lyon lead to this square. From here, you can easily access the city's various districts, making it a starting point for many a journey. But Place Belcour isn't all about history and geography. It's a vibrant hub of activity with locals and tourists alike frequenting the square. Here you'll find yourself amidst a sea of people, each with their own destination, their own story. From the Ferris wheel that graces the square during wintertime to the numerous events and gatherings held here throughout the year, there's always something happening at Place Belcour. It's a place that never sleeps, a place that's always alive with energy and activity. Whether it's day or night, Place Belcourt is always bustling with life. So, as we conclude our journey, remember this. Lyon is not just a city, it's an experience, and Place Belcourt is its beating heart. That's a wrap on our journey through Lyon. We've strolled through the charming maze of the old town, gazed at the grandeur of the Basilica of Notre-Dame de Fourvière, 
perched atop Fourvier Hill and admired the exquisite collection at the Musée des Beaux-Arts. We've savored the culinary delights at Les Halles de Lyon Paul Bocuse and soaked up the vibrant atmosphere of the Presqu'île district. We found tranquility in the expansive Parc de la Tête d'Or and discovered the hidden gems of Lyon, the Traboules, in the vibrant neighborhood of Quarousse Hill. Lastly, we've marveled at the Grand Place Belcourt, one of the largest open squares in Europe. Each landmark, each corner of Lyon tells a story, painting a vivid picture of the city's rich history and vibrant culture. Thank you for joining this journey. Until next time, au revoir and bon voyage.